everyday makeup routine or just a regular day being out and about. And just kind of go. Just into the areas I think my um, makeup will just fall off, kind of. <coughs> now I'm gonna go in with my BB cream, my um, foundation. It's very light, I just mix these two. And I will put them on my hands just because it's a little bit easier to really get in there with the warm. I just do like pump. And really not much, like less is more, especially to me during the day because it's all gonna just come off eventually. So When I watch Get Ready With Me's in the mornings, they're so calming and I really enjoy them. So hopefully you enjoy it as well. looking crazy so I will be using my concealer using this Maybelline instant eraser in the inner corners of my eye and then side a little bit on the bridge of my nose and that is it, but this time I'm not going to use my hands, I'm going to use my... And I like to spray just a little bit with some setting spray. This looks so rusty and crusty, but you know what, the, I'm not going to clean it in between just to show you. It looks crusty. Blend in. I also feel that going with the damp sponge at the end and kind of really pressing in your product just gives you that nice dewy finish. Hi Apollo. Okay, so we've got that with my brow pencil. Oh, my cat is in front of I don't know if you will be able to see him, but he's just doing his thing. I'm using a little mirror right now just to Oh no. Do you want me to show you what's going on? Do you wanna see if they're going at each other. I will have to, of course, jump in, but right now they're- Hey, 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 stop this. No hitting. Stop. <laughs> they're just acting crazy in the morning. We do not have a mental capacity right now. Right, this is what I usually do. I don't know, is this controversial? I don't really use a eyeshadow or anything like that. I just use a bronzer and I go over my eyelids 
and it just bronze everywhere. I don't know. It works for me. I think it everything blends and it looks great. So let's just do that and let me find my brush. Oh, we forgot a little bit of contour. And I just draw like two lines. A little line right here to imitate like a nose tip. And I, when I contour, I don't go upwards, kind of just go downwards little streaks right there we're gonna go back into the beauty blender and i'm just gonna spray it again and when i blend i blend it upward soon to leave go in and that's so I streak this away kind of this way to give it that dimension a little is that the right word go away from my face i don't know i find the bronzer as an eyeshadow base just it just works for me And then I can take my bronzer, one that is not of color. This is also actually same both as um, Physicians Formula. And one of them is a bronzer and one of them is a matte bronzer. So I take the matte bronzer and I go over my contour a little bit. And back over my... And what I like to do with my bronzer when I go in to contour my nose, I go right in this hollow area to narrow it down a little bit more. So, and I press it down like that. And just go in there. Take a little more because I cannot see this in my life. Okay, and now I'm gonna put on some lip balm, natural for conditioning lip treatment in the flavor of vanilla. And I just put that on my lips. All right, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do a very slight um, eyeliner with a, a brow pencil. Anything like with a brown color works for me. Yeah. I just so it doesn't have to be perfect. Like. I just go in a little bit. Like a dark brown eyeshadow um, oh, um, to trace the line. And I go in a little bit into my the inner corners of my eye. To 
between the brown hair and Nani. That little step, and this one, gosh, it's so old and dusty. I'm not sure if they sell this anymore, but this is the, they probably do. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And, and I just go in with a teeny, teeny, because you do not need a lot for this stuff. and go into the areas that I just want a little bit. That's what I do. And then again, this is also for just a little bit of a contour. And I just go underneath my eye. And I go back again with the brush. Double it out. And what you want to do is, if in doubt, blend it out. And I go in with two colors. I think this is always the prettiest combination. I will just show you all of the things that I use. And so kind of like a rose color, brown. and I'm using this Fenty Heat in brown. It is the most beautiful color. It lasts, it lasts for a couple hours. hours and it, and it, it, it just looks so pretty. All I use afterwards is just my um, moisturizer, my, my lip balm. All right, so let me do my lip liner really quickly. And I slightly go over, slightly overline the top lip, but not much. Only a tiny bit on the top that'll give you a little bit of a lift. Okay, and then I will go in with the slightly more, um, looks so dusty, Milani 09 Spice. Looking crusty as ever, but she's working, so. And I use that just all over my lip. Now we'll go in with my Fenty Beauty gloss. Pretty much done just highlighter though actually so let me go in with the highlighter the laura mercier highlighter in matte radiance and i just go over just over over my eyebrow and a little bit over the cheek and that is it and then i take a little bit on my um ring finger and go into the areas that I contoured a little bit and put that in black L'Oreal mascara 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 potato potato For um, every day, nothing special. Um, let me go off camera and just do my hair. All right, thank you so much for watching. This is the finished makeup look. Um, just an everyday makeup that I do in the morning.